Who doesn't love movie and pizza night? Well, it's National Pizza Month, and today we are going to take you to where one popular pizza chain got its start. In fact, they were one of the first pizza places in Ann Arbor. Our Michelle Oliver takes us to dine in the D at the original Cottage Inn. When you hear the name Cottage Inn, your first thought is probably pizza. And you wouldn't be wrong. They serve up plenty of pizzas here, but they also serve up so much more. There's definitely a lot more, a lot of just like your traditional Italian dishes. It's got uh, breadsticks, pasta, and of course, traditional pizza. Oh, it's a, just a great Italian restaurant. A lot of people come here daily and go, oh my God, I didn't know you had all this. It's not just a pizza place, but our pizza is delicious and a big part of our business, but we also have a lot more to offer. And he should know, as his father started this restaurant. There was a cottage inn, it was a little coffee place, jukeboxes, and my dad bought it in 1960 when he came from Greece, and then he introduced pizza. And it was probably one of the first pizzas in Ann Arbor, and then started expanding, and it was this little you know, area right here, and now it's, you know, Full, full restaurant and carryouts and deliveries and franchises and the whole works. And as for the name, well. Uh, I think that's what the name was when my dad bought the building really? and just kept it, yeah. <laughs> well, Cottage Inn suits this homey Italian restaurant, which even has a wall full of memories. A lot of people have memories and like, oh, that year this and this athlete was good or like they reunite here, they have their wedding or rehearsal dinner and also, they have students that they come back and see, you know, so there's, Cottage Inn offers a lot of tradition. Well, today, I'm going to dust off my pizza skills and make one of their classic pizzas, the best of Cottage Inn. We start with some dough and we press out the crust. Okay. I'm not quite as fast as you. It's been a while since I did this. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> then we roll the dough with this spiky rolling pin to do something called docking. And now why are we docking it? Yeah, because he wants to make the bubbles. Yes. So he breaks the the bubbles. So this gets, make sure you no bubbles. No bubbles. Next, we slap out the dough. We both hands. And give it a few tosses for fun. Nice! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> now we spread on some of their signature pizza sauce. Then we put on the toppings. Yes, you heard right, the toppings before the cheese. We add on some mushrooms and Italian sausage. And now why do you guys put the, the toppings on underneath the cheese? Generally it's cheese than toppings. Uh, you know, the restaurant, so original Caribbean, you always do that. The original owners always did that? Yeah. It also, I think, helps to where you don't like bite into it and then like pull all the toppings off. Now we sprinkle on the cheese and we put on the one topping that actually goes on top, the pepperoni. That way they get nice and crispy in the oven. A little bit of Parmesan cheese and oregano. Oregano to me is like the classic pizza spice. Yeah. You don't have it, then you don't have a right pizza. Now it's time for the oven and it comes out ready to eat. All right, joining us today in studio is Jim Mikos, the co-owner of the Cottage Inn. Thank you for being here. Thank you, I'm excited to be here. Well, we are excited too, <laughs> Jason Carr even more so than me. But tell us about this beautiful uh, spread that you brought in for us. Okay, we have these, uh, these are the classics since 1948, been our guest favorites. This is a spicy Mediterranean, banana peppers, feta, just Parmesan, just a slightly four cheese blend, beautiful. extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Next, we have a meat lover's pizza. It's all our fresh meats. Italian sausage is amazing. Then we have a classic Greek salad with the imported feta from Greece. All right. And our Kalamata olives from my dad's village as well. And then we have a family favorite. It's a family recipe through all the years. It's our uh, lasagna. It's one of our biggest sellers. Wow. Okay, then, it looks beautiful. And then we've got some pasta yep, we dishes. Have, we do homemade fresh bread every day. Mm. And then uh, you could buy these for a dollar a loaf. We oh, just wow. kept the price through all the years and nice. people love it. And then we have uh, a lot of great pastas. I just brought a couple. This is a shrimp and scallop portofino with a demi-glaze cream sauce. Black and chicken pasta, that's one of my favorites. It's not spicy, but very, very flavorful. Okay. And then this is a new appetizer that we created with a fresh pita grilled roasted vegetables. It has uh, goat cheese on top. And then I wanted to do the garnish so it's edible. It's mm -hmm. not just a garnish. And I just did arugula, extra virgin olive oil, Very 
nice. um, a little kosher salt, and then you squeeze the lemon on top. Very nice. Now tell us about these specialty items over here. Well, we wanted to grow with, uh, you know, our guests and the way, you know, people's uh, listening, to, listening to our guests, yeah. I guess. And dietary I, changes are and your dietary needs, changes. Are right? Yeah, so. We wanted to create a pizza that's excellent but still vegan. So we have a new gluten-free menu, we have a new vegan menu, and it's done really well. We have a vegan buffet every uh, second Thursday of the month. So okay. November 8th we have one. Um, we also got him excited about the cheeses because we wanted to create like we couldn't do it till now because we finally found the right cheese mm. and it's a goat cheese which I want you to try later on it's uh, imported from Greece it tastes like a soft uh, it's a it's feta but it tastes like a soft goat cheese very nice and that's just uh, vegetables with the goat cheese and the other ones a Tuscan with the Kalamata olives and the, that has the fresh uh, vegan mozzarella awesome I and then we brought the impossible it. burger because that's a big talk of the town that's huge. as well it's so. huge okay yeah. beautiful spread do you want me to just get you a slice right now <laughs> while you read this I'll slide okay yeah here. let's do that so also tell us where you're located remind us really 512 quickly 512 east william right downtown ann arbor all right and if you want to try out the original cottage in we are giving away 10 30 mm -hmm. gift cards they can also be redeemed at his other restaurant the Quarter Bistro in Ann Arbor. For your chance to win, go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. I knew he was gonna say that. It's good, right? Oh, it smells good. amazing. Mm. I know it's good. All right. Mm. We've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places we cover, get suggestions on places to eat out, and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you. And of course, if you have an idea where Michelle should go to next for Dine in the D, message, message her on Facebook at Michelle Oliver Live in the D and give her your suggestions.